Swine flu shot? Well, I don't know. I've been thinking about it. It could make you very sick. Swine flu? Man, I'm too fast to let it catch me. You'll want to be protected. I'm the healthiest 55-year-old you've ever seen. Hey, I play golf every weekend. Get a shot of protection. The swine flu shot. Joe brought it home from the office. He gave it to Betty and one of his kids and to Betty's mother. But Betty's mother went back to California the next day. On her way to the airport, she gave it to a cab driver, a ticket agent, and one of the charming stewardesses. At school, Joe's kid gave it to some other kids. And Mrs. Merrill got it and gave it to her husband. In California, Betty's mother gave it to her best friend, Dottie. But Dottie had a heart condition and she died. But before she died, Dottie gave it to her girlfriend, the mailman, the paper boy, and the vet when she went to pick up her chihuahua. If a swine flu epidemic comes, this is how it could spread. You'll want to be protected, especially if you're elderly or chronically ill. Get a shot of protection. The swine flu shot. The flu season is upon us. Which type will we worry about this year? And what kind of shots will we be told to take? Remember the swine flu scare of 1976? That was the year the U.S. government told us all that swine flu could turn out to be a killer that could spread across the nation. And Washington decided that every man, woman, and child in the nation should get a shot to prevent a nationwide outbreak, a pandemic. Well, 46 million of us obediently took the shot. And now 4,000 Americans are claiming damages from Uncle Sam amounting to three and a half billion dollars because of what happened when they took that shot. By far the greatest number of the claims, two-thirds of them, are for neurological damage or even death, allegedly triggered by the flu shot. We pick up the story back in 1976 when the threat posed by the swine flu virus seemed very real indeed. This virus was the cause of a pandemic in 1918 and 1919 that resulted in over half a million deaths in the United States, as well as 20 million deaths around the world. See how easy it is to... Thus, the U.S. government's publicity machine was cranked into action to urge all America to protect itself against the swine flu menace. Influenza is serious business. During major flu epidemics, millions of people are sick and thousands die. Well, this year you can get protection. The vaccines are safe, easy to take, and they can protect you against flu. So roll up your sleeve. Protect yourself. I'm not going to copy all this. I'm going to leave the link to the whole thing so you can go watch it. I don't want to get a strike or anything. Who the fuck knows with the way Google's running stuff. Anyways, you watch the whole thing. It's just like watching what's going on today with Corona. So, you know, a lot of bullshit, they're working up a vaccine, and it's real interesting. This, when you go to it, this was actually a documentary, 60 Minutes, and uh, the guy comments in it when you when you go on the link, and, uh, you know, for him, all the credit goes to the guy that made this. My friend censored, uh, found it, and posted it, I saw it, I goes, I'm making this before, uh. It gets taken down. So watch it. It's good. It just shows you they just go over and over and over again the same shit every 20 years, every generation. They don't give a shit. They just don't give a shit. Watch it's really good. Really good.